Alrighty, what is going on folks? We're going to be going in with some Wind Witch Artifact Invoked and we're going to see how, how mad can we make our opponent because, oh Jesus Christ. Alright, there we go. I don't think this man plays, what's the name either? I don't think he plays Ash Blossom, he does, but I don't, I don't even know why I said that. Everybody plays Ash Blossom. Alright, that's one, that's two, because we want to keep the tuner. No, we don't. We don't want to keep the tuner, actually. Um, but we do want to get that. And I believe we have to right now. There we go. Then what we can do is go with this guy. Go ahead and burn for a couple of damage. Burn for some damage. Bam. Higher attack one, I'm guessing. There we go. Then we go into a crystal wing that's indestructible. Possibly should have went Stardust because we do have back row and then we do have, you know, we can still do another. We, we can go to a Crystal Wing next play. Not a Crystal Wing, but a Clear Wing. And that's pretty much the same thing as this. Um, I mean, Stardust being indestructible doesn't really do anything, but I mean, Dark. I mean, it kind of does because you can't Dark Hole it and stuff like that, even though you wouldn't want to Dark Hole Stardust. But if you, you know, if you have a Twin Twister. If you have a twin twist and you, you just throw a dark hole out of Stardust and then twin twister, but then you won't be able to do that because it's un it's indestructible. But a crystal wing Suko Dragon being indestructible is just as good, um, if not better, <clears throat> because um, this can negate effects and it's very crucial when you can negate an effect. And the fact that I do have a back row removal, he doesn't play anything. I feel like the extra I feel like the extra deck would change a lot, especially throwing in scapegoat. Scapegoat was just really good, especially like instant fusion now that uh, Link Karibo is available and Skull Deep is coming out. That card right there is gonna probably be the first link that's banned. Him or Needle Fiber, because Needle Fiber is just amazing. Um, and also Skull Deep is just not once per turn. But you know, if you can if you can like summon multiple skull deeds per turn i think you need to you know i think you just need it all right so he quit all right going up against carthenia so let's see what we can do but if you can go to three skull deeds in one turn you de you deserve to go to three skull deeds in one turn um this is okay sadly we didn't draw anything else but this is all right this is a pretty good hand uh we have to f oh, this card man i don't know if i got you know pick these up this is going to be needed, especially with Electrum. I'm going to keep a Cyclone in hand. I feel like that's that's good. I think going, you know, I think setting two is cool. Keeping a Cyclone is also good. But, um, yeah, Electrum, if that's the best one that comes out in the set, or, like, you need this for Skoldy, you need this for Electrum. Effect Veiler is coming back alive. I know Ash Blossom can do the same thing, but it can't stop Electrum's effect to add it to the extra deck it can't stop that so that's something you definitely want an effect available for and effect village is going to be good in general because the more the more um when, when spirals get phased out you can start targeting again and this is the reason why effect veiler is not really that good because if you go against spirals which is the best deck you have a high chance of going against spirals you don't you know you don't want anything that really targets so it's kind of a problem and that's why I like non-targetable cards are really good um, but yeah it's kind of kind of a pro it's kind it's, it's kind of bad because of the format and then because of like it's completely outclassed by like ash blossom and stuff like that so <clears throat> yeah but once ash blossom like gets hit or something I really feel like that card's gonna get hit it, it's just it's way too good way too good of a card I, I really think it's going to get hit that is my basically no what what are we doing today folks are we just are we living in the old ages we just living in the old ages man um but I, i've heard that this deck is supposed to be good also but you know what i'm not going to do anything you know why, folks? You know why I'm not going to do anything? I feel like he has a... Uh, uh, he's going to get the dark one. He's going to use the effect on my effect veiler. <coughs> to show you how good this card is. Hopefully. 
that's what happens here. Because if he gets to 1900, then he just doesn't have a good hand. <clears throat> but you can still invocation and cosmic cyclone. Okay, well he didn't. He got a dark one, but he didn't get the one I was talking about. <laughs> All right, so um, that was kind of uh, eh. I feel like we're good still. We're still good. We're still good. Um, nope. There we go. End phase. Bam. Let's roll the dice. Hit that one. He said it the last one, right? I'm just pretty strong, so I'm sure that's actually really good. Um, ooh. And then let's do this. And because he set, um, what did he set first? I think he set this one first. So let's get rid of that. Let's see. <clears throat> get that text. Is it a scapegoat? It might be a scapegoat. Um, but we can't invocation and use ice bell <clears throat> and that's what's uh that's not good that's not good at all so I think crystal wing is clearly the best option right now clearly the best option um, because it can negate the effect of the tattoo tau tai tau tai shadow of the yang zing <clears throat> Waterfall. Okay. Send any number. Oh, that's actually a really good card. So you can add a worm or you could draw two, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's fine with me. We're going to activate this. Bam. Summon another Wind Witch, which is Winter Bell. Oh. Um, we want to search the burn is not really necessary. There we go. At the snow bell. Maxi really hurts this, but um, it's pretty good. I think Ash is not good against this card either. I really want to pick some up. <clears throat> and then uh, what? Oh, you have to summon level five hires. Okay. This is one bell. Okay. What do you do? Don't you do something different? If any of the players turn, you can target a win witch. Special summon one from your hand with a level less. That's garbage. That's a real garbage effect. <clears throat> That's high garbage. <laughs> this is really garbage. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Let's go right on over here. Now I'm gonna end vacation. I'm gonna run this over for 3,000. Storming. Please, please don't have it. I was playing. Playing around, folks. Don't have it. Please don't. What can you have? What does this do? When this card is special summon, target a worm. When gave our special summon, the spec is negated. Okay. I really. This looks like that other card. <clears throat> that's another card that says like you tribute and target two level threes or something like that Forgot what it's called. It's, it's just like this card. It's literally the same Like really si nah, not the same artwork, but it's really similar But I just forgot what the other one's called it's something that targets two two uh two level threes tribute this card and get like I think it's called no, it's not magma dragon I was about to say lava dragon. It, it's something like that but <clears throat> It's either a level five or a level four I'm not, not really sure. But what I do want to do is play my old fire deck that <clears throat> when I first started. Oh, God. This is a. Uh, they're both they're both not mandatory, so he could definitely play around it. Oh, no, he didn't. He didn't play around it for no reason at all. <clears throat> but yeah. So this way, once per turn, if it's destroyed by battle or card effect, spell summon Yang Zing, but you cannot spell summon except for Synchros. That's cool. Um, and I, I missed it. I missed it. But yeah, I want to play my fire deck that um that uh like back in the day I played. Like it was like my first, like one of my first decks that I ever won with was 
Um, it was a fire deck like with ultimate baseball kids and it was oh man I'm t I'm talking about this spicy that thing was spicy did we play Regeki at least I play Dark Hole but Strawberry Corn opponent's card effect right okay well um where's the fire one oh, you do have a fire so you can lose you don't play Elysium, huh? I don't know why a lot of people don't play that card. That card is fantastic. Well, I think he's going to just start stalling. So, Yang Zing can path. Wow. I hate Yu-Gi-Oh sometimes. Well, I, 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 I did this to myself. I could have literally stopped all of this. I could have. Could have just striked the damn effect. <clears throat> Oh shit! Sorry about that, but I have to, I have to cough. <clears throat> I don't know what you're going into now. Let's say if this card is used for a synchro summon, what happens? Unaffected by spells. So what I'm doing right here is baiting this, right? So now he thinks that he's going to be able to go to a, bo a, a Boxia, not Boxia, but a Jiaotu. He's going to go into a Jiaotu and get Effect Baiter because he thought he was special, he thought he was cute. <coughs> now, to be honest with you, I don't even want to like negate how it's this card. This this doesn't trigger until it leaves. If, I mean, gets destroyed. So he's probably going. Um, what's the level seven? Ma no, wait. Yazzie? Yeah, Yazzie. Thought he was going Jiaotu. Okay, so he's going to go Yazzie probably now. Yazzie. I don't know why I'm saying Yazzie. Yazzie. He's going to go to a Yazzie. <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure Yazzie needs to be on the field. When this card do control. So we're going to strike it. He technically doesn't control it, but I'm pretty sure it triggers anyway. So, Who am I? Soul Calibur. Jesus Christ, he top deck of soul. He had a soul charge in his hand. He probably drew it off the path, too. Okay, so you can get two monsters, which is this and this. Yep. That's exactly what he can do. I think that's what he's going to do. I hope he gets Magma Dragon. <clears throat> oh, wait, so that doesn't trigger? Ooh. I mean, technically, he didn't control it, but... You know how uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! has some weird rulings. <clears throat> this is a surprisingly good game that probably shouldn't have went this long. Um, actually, no. Because if I, if I did strike it, I'd be forced to use invocation. <coughs> oh, shit. My bad. I don't, I don't mean to be coughing like that, but <clears throat> it snuck up on me. I'm pretty sure you guys heard it. But it like, snuck up on me. It was just crawling and crawling. Okay. What is he doing? Oh, he's. I guess he's quitting? I don't. I guess. Alright, so. First victory. Um, of the day, I believe, with wind witches, so that's good. And he literally had to, all he had to do was get like this and that out, and he would have been cool. But for some reason, people don't want to win. But, anyways, yeah, that is it for today. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys would like to support the channel, all I ask for you guys to do is click an ad, that'd be enough for me. And, um, yeah, stay tuned, be right back with a, another duel. <laughs>